one day. Brandon and I just went grocery shopping and I never do grocery haul, so I figured I would do one. This is like a actual realistic grocery haul because I always try and be like a really clean eater and everything I eat is just like whole foods and healthy, but it's not. So this is like what we actually buy at the grocery store. The two places we grocery shop is we go to Ralph's and then we go to Trader Joe's. So we pretty much get all of our like produce and meats and stuff, which I don't know. I don't know, people have preferences, but we do like all of our produce and like our meats and our vegetables and all that kind of stuff at Trader Joe's. And then at Ralph's we buy pretty much just junk food. So I'll show you guys. A lot of this stuff is like specifically for Brandon. So these are his little Nature Valley sweet and salty bars. He also has cereal. It's literally like, when I shop with him, it's like living with a teenage boy, pretty much. Lucky Charms and Frosted Flakes, those are his breakfast preferences. The bagels are for me. You guys know I have a blueberry bagel pretty much every morning with cream cheese or with an egg, and it's my favorite thing. So I get bagels, um, and then we have these, which are sausage, egg, and cheese sandwiches. Uh, Brandon picked out some Eggos. Peanut butter to make peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. For chips, we got Doritos, nacho cheese, and then we got Dots. These are the best pretzels of all time. They're so good. Brandon will probably finish that bag today. Um, then we got stuff to make sandwiches. We make like a turkey provolone sandwich. So just plain turkey breast. I got butter. My mom and my sister are coming into town this week. So my sister is having cravings and she really wants peaches. So I bought her some peaches. I bought stuff to make a pasta Caesar salad. I'll show you guys. I found the recipe on TikTok. So I needed croutons. I got croutons. Tortillas, flour tortillas. We tried flour tortillas from Trader Joe's the other week and they were literally terrible. So we were like, never mind. We're going to go, we're going to go back to the, the classic. And then I got almond milk. No, I got oat milk. Sorry. Put it in the oven and then we got a bunch of apples. I've been loving eating just apples and peanut butter. Now moving on to what we got from Trader Joe's. I picked out flowers. I want to make a little like roses flower our arrangement to put in our dining room because we're out of flowers. I always keep a cute little arrangement in there. Got bow tie pasta because this is for my Caesar pasta salad. This is the bread we get. This is from Trader Joe's. It's the brioche bread. It's so good. And then my favorite, I should have got two bags of this honestly. These are the rolled corn tortilla chips. My mouth is watering. They taste just like Takis. They're so good. I bought this. This is the crunchy chili onion. So I bought cucumbers the other day at Whole Foods. And I want to do the little cucumber, you know, trend where you just make like a cucumber salad and you put the crunchy chili onion in there. I'll show you guys. I can do it in this vlog. Maybe I'll make it as a snack today. Then I bought two dips that I've never had before. This is the caramelized onion dip. And then I got the buffalo chicken dip. So I wanted to try both of these. I picked up pita bites, like these little crackers, just regular pita crackers. And I was like, I'll just see if I like these. I feel like I don't buy snacks typically, like all of the little things you see here they're mainly branded things like i don't buy a lot of snacks unless it's like the apples and peanut butter or like something like this so i'm gonna try those and see this is my favorite creamer from trader joe's i can't remember if it's seasonal i think that it is but it's the non-dairy oat creamer it's brown sugar flavored it's so so delicious so i've been having this every morning in my coffee some strawberries now we're getting into the frozen food section so this is the stuff that me and brandon buy once a month we buy these frozen meals the lasagna this family style lasagna is so good me and brandon love it we split it and it's amazing and it i don't know like it just tastes so nice and i got ground turkey meat this is what we do for tacos we always have turkey meat and then brandon likes this i don't eat this this is the shepherd's pie i guess he got two of them <laughs> this is shepherd's pie and then we actually have never tried these but we're gonna try them like at some point these are the jalapeno cream cheese crispy wontons we typically if we make like fried rice or something this can be a side because there's only a couple in here so you just like heat them up i think either air fryer oven yeah air fryer and i feel like these should be good oh three bags of scandinavian swimmers these are the best little candies they're sour but they're not sour so i'll show you guys what i do i have this jar this is my candy jar as you can see it has some scandinavian swimmers in here but it's pretty much empty whenever people come over they eat like this was full okay people come here they get addicted to these every time someone comes over they're like what are these these are so good and i'm like 
They're literally from Trader Joe's and they're so yummy. So I buy bags of them every once in a while so that I can fill this little jar up. So that's what I'm gonna do. That's our grocery haul. That's my realistic grocery haul. Like we have so many things in here that are just like junk food, but then I try and like pick other things. There's not a ton of stuff in this that's like fresh produce and like meat for meals except for the turkey meat because it's like I'm trying to just buy the food the day that I want to make it if that makes sense because we are really bad about like wasting stuff like if I buy chicken at the beginning of the week and then I'm like oh I'm gonna make it for this and then we start eating out and we never end up making it it becomes a waste so instead I'm just going to whenever we decide what we're making that night, I'll run to the store, I'll grab like the two, three things that I need and then like be done with it so that way I don't waste it. So I feel like that's why it seems like we just have like a bunch of random crap and not anything to make like actual meals because I'm switching over to doing that. I waste so much stuff and it's so annoying. So because we're having tacos tonight, that's why we have fresh taco meat and I bought all the stuff to make the tacos and that's that. Anyway, I'm gonna put it all the way now and then I have a Pilates class at one o'clock at Aloe so I'm gonna get ready to go to that. I need to edit before, do some work. So this is my Monday morning. about 10 30 right now i don't have pilates till like one o'clock so i have time to film a couple book stuff for like reels and tiktok and stuff like that but i always do this before i go work out i take dry shampoo and i like drench my hair in it because i feel like if i do it before i work out it helps not make my hair so like sweaty and oily i've been using this one this is the redken dry shampoo it's deep clean dry shampoo i am obsessed with this right now and so i'm just like putting so much of it in my hair. I've been struggling lately with figuring out what hairstyle works for me, like when I go to the gym, because it's really hard for me to put my hair up and not have all of my tapes like showing. I can't really do like a slick bun, which is typically what I would do like every single time I go to the gym, I just put my hair in a slick bun. I mean, I can kind of slick it, but it's so much hair now. So I'm gonna try and figure out like what is a hairstyle I can do today that's not going to look insane. I'm gonna maybe try and do a slick pony, but sometimes that doesn't really like give, you know? And I curled it a couple days ago. So right now it's just like really, really wavy. I guess I'm just gonna keep it in like a low ponytail wish for the best i can't really put it high up so i'm starving and i need to eat something before i work out so i'm gonna do the little cucumber trend that i saw on tiktok i started shaving this one then decided not to i don't have a mandolin so i'm just gonna cut them really thin on my own i have a big mason jar here Got our jar of cucumbers. We're gonna salt these like a lot and then wash them. Water in there. No. We're doing some toasted sesame oil. Soy sauce. Some minced garlic. This is the best part. You do chili oil. So I have this one, which is Crunchy garlic chili sauce. This one's essentially the same thing. It's from Trader Joe's. Crunchy chili onion. So I'm gonna do both. I love this one. And then I also have rice vinegar. You like it? Yummy. Do they taste like the Din Tai ones? Mm-hmm, a little bit. Good job, baby. So cute, it's so sweet, so pretty. Stop it. So this is my pre-workout snack. I'm eating some cucumbers and I also just made a plate. I cut up an apple and I'm eating it with some crunchy peanut butter. Sometimes I'll put honey or cinnamon in with it.
It is almost six o'clock right now and I am so tired from today. I went to Pilates and then when I got back, I didn't vlog anything because I have been editing for like four hours um, a vlog. I had a reel to edit. I just was editing, right? But it's six o'clock and I'm going to do my skincare because I'm going to cook dinner later and I just want to take my makeup off now. If I wait till late, I won't actually do it. So I'm just going to do it now. But I hate when my makeup like looks so nice and i have to take it off um anyway i'm gonna use this mara enzyme cleansing oil i've never used this but it's a cleansing oil to remove your makeup so i'm gonna try it out this feels really smooth and it feels like it's removing everything so okay that definitely took all my makeup off like it is completely off i have a tiny bit of eye makeup but i always double cleanse so i'm using this Murad exfoliating cleanser. So when I wash my face, I switched over to using these little towels. I ordered them on Amazon and I always keep them stocked because I used to use the same face towel. I'm not kidding. I would wash it every six months, which is really bad. It would make your face really dirty. It can keep bacteria. So I use these and they're just like one and done. I think they're like bamboo or something like that. You toss them out um, and they're from Clean Skin Club and I just like wipe all my makeup off. And I've loved having them and I've been loving using them. Going to Owl, you guys, is actually like a fever dream. Like it is my favorite thing that I get to do. It's one, it's my favorite thing because I was struggling to find a consistent workout routine. I literally like complained about that not even complained i like cried about it in a vlog how i like couldn't find a consistent workout routine and it's also all about like the people you surround yourself with the people you work out with and stuff like that because i used to have that when i moved to la i lost that and it just made me so sad but now whenever i go to ala like i'm so comfortable with all the girls there like everyone who works there is so nice all the people who are like in my workout classes are amazing and I just love it so much. Not only that, I got a little salad afterwards, but I went to my workout and I came home and I edited for like four hours. Literally, I edited a vlog, I edited reels, I edited Instagram photos, I did so much editing. And so now I'm tired and it's six o'clock and I'm gonna make dinner when Brandon gets home, which there he is, I can hear him outside. He's putting his clubs away because he went to go golf. I just put on the road glazing milk and it's my favorite thing ever. I'm not kidding, I'm so happy I have it. And then on top of it, I'm layering this Murad Cellular Hydration Repair Cream. So just adding some moisturizer on. I made a bowl, Brandon's making tacos. It doesn't look good, but like it is good. Slut. It's the next morning and I'm actually doing a little of laundry really quickly. I'm washing our sheets because I forgot to do it this weekend. And I wanted to show you guys what I use. This is my detergent that I only use for sheets, pillowcases and stuff because it's a nicer detergent and it smells so good. Like literally when I wash my bedding in this, I am in heaven. It's by Dead Cool. This scent is called Milk. It's bergamot, amber, and white mud. It is literally incredible. They have a bunch of different scents, but this one is my favorite right now. So I add this in and then because I have white sheets, this is what I use. I use OxyClean White Revive. So this is just like a little laundry whitener and stain remover. I do like one scoop of this and I throw it in on top of my sheets and then I wash it and I really feel like it works. I just like keep these stocked. I order them on Amazon and that is my little laundry routine. It's 8 a.m. right now. I woke up at 6.30 this morning. I finished editing a vlog until just right now and now it's scheduled and uploaded. I'm trying to get back into my 6 a.m. morning routine. You guys know I was waking up at 6 a.m. every day and I felt like I accomplished so much more, especially now that I'm going to like workouts and stuff. I feel like it takes so much of my time away. Like it's not just like a quick, easy thing. I, I feel like I drive 20 minutes to my workout, then my class is an hour and then I drive 20 minutes back and then I shower and then I do my skin. Like, you know what I mean? I just feel like it takes up like a couple hours of my day that I used to have to do other things. So now I'm like trying to wake up early and get other stuff done. So anyway, I woke up at 6.30 this morning, but I do have a workout at 10 today. I'm gonna go to Aloe and then I have a brand dinner tonight or a brand event. It's not really a dinner. It's like a cocktail hour vibe and it's with the brand Toshin, which I love. If you guys have ever heard of them, they have the most incredible books. I've been to their storefront, which is like on Rodeo, I think, or it's like in Beverly Hills. 
and it's so nice and they sell the most incredible like coffee table books and like just really cool curated books and so I have an event with them tonight that I'm like really excited about trying to put my hair up and fix myself with extensions in is not my favorite thing to do. Ignore that my bed's like still unmade, but this is what I'm wearing to aloe. It's this little onesie. It's so cute and comfy. Like I'm, I'm actually obsessed with this. I've got sculpt class, so I'm gonna go to sculpt, work out, come back and shower, do some work. I'm literally so sore from yesterday's Pilates, so I don't know how I'm going to survive this this morning, but we'll see. I'm back from Pilates and I saved a TikTok where I make this pasta Caesar salad. So I have all the ingredients. I'm gonna make the dressing, I'll show you guys. And then I have the pasta here. I'm boiling water right now. So I'm gonna do half a pound of pasta and then I have my Caesar salad kit that I showed you guys. Okay, I've drained the pasta and then I'm gonna put some cold water on it. We have a big bowl here. I put all the lettuce. I lied about making the dressing. I got too lazy and I bought this one and it's from Trader Joe's and it's just regular Caesar dressing pre-made and that's just what I'm gonna do because I don't feel like making it. I'm gonna add a croutons. I think I made too much pasta but I'm gonna put it in here. This is the final result. You guys, it's actually so good. I made it like way too much. So I have a whole nother bowl, but maybe I'll just save it. But it's actually incredible. Finished lunch and I'm still so full. Like I feel very bloated. I feel like I need to take a, I need to take a lemmy or something, but I just did my makeup and I changed into this top. This is what I'm going to wear to my event later tonight, but it's only like one o'clock. So I was trying to make sure my makeup was coordinated with the outfit. This top is from Revolve. I think it's from Super Down. I'll link it. I have the top. The skirt, I don't think I'll be able to link because it's like really old. This is a set. So there's a matching tube top and a matching skirt, but the skirt was so small on me. I got the wrong size and it's not appropriate for me to wear. So I just paired it with something else, but I'll link that actual set in the description. But anyway, I did my makeup and I really like it because I did some sparkles. I did a little baby pink to match this dress or match this top. So I have something exciting tomorrow that I'm like really nervous about. I am doing a photo shoot with Charlotte Tilbury. So they had like all of, I think it's like a bunch of influencers and we're doing full like hair, makeup, glam, and we're doing a mascara photo shoot. So we're going to be like, I don't know what they're gonna use the photos for, I'm sure just like on social or wherever, but it's basically like a full beauty campaign. And I have not done a beauty campaign in so long. Like I did a beauty campaign, if you guys remember, when I was in college, I did one for CoverGirl and no it was maybelline can't remember who it was but i did a beauty campaign for them and i was like so nervous they flew into new york for it and like that was like the last time i did anything like this so i'm like so scared because i feel like everyone there is going to be like serving the face and i'm going to be so nervous and also because i'm getting my hair and my makeup done i'm like i really hope that i like it i know i should i know i would but you know you like you do your makeup a certain way every day i'm so used to that so i'm like really nervous anyway so i need to pick out an outfit for that today because i have that tomorrow and it's at 9 30 a.m and they sent me a mood board to go off of and it's like lacy dark like it's just like black white neutral kind of edgy so i need to look in my closet and see what i can find this set is by far my favorite i have this little set it's from calvin klein it's just this little blazer matching satin pants it's so cute and i really like it just with like the little bra i think it's so pretty we can also button it up if they want to do like a more covered kind of look but i feel like i feel most comfortable in this and i'm gonna want to be comfortable in this scenario because i haven't done it in a long time or like so i don't want to feel weird i want to feel good and i feel good in this but maybe it says a lot i feel the most good being more covered last fit check before i go because i added a bag okay here's my little top my only thing about this top is like this mesh is not super tight and i think the pattern is making me look like whatever i just think it looks weird because i have big boobs and you know it's just making it look like i have huge monstrous boobs because of this pattern so it is what it is but i still like the top 
It's very cute. With my little skirt, I put some little white heels on. This is my little bag from By Far. And this is what I'm wearing. I'm going to the Toshin store. I'll vlog a little bit of clips there, but bye. I'm back from the Toshin event and I am so excited, you guys. I'm gonna give you a huge book haul. These are literally so sickening. Coffee table books, decorative books, but they're just like so cool. Like literally the most insane prices ever. They gave us money to shop and I got so much, like so many books with the money that they gave us. I like wasn't expecting that at all because their books are very expensive. So this is the first book. The Complete Collection of Antiquities is what I got. You guys know I've like been so into Greek mythology lately with all my Greek mythology books that I've been reading. And this is the cover and it looks so insane. And it has a bunch of Greek mythology in it and stuff, which I thought was like so interesting. And honestly, I just also picked books based off of the style of what they looked like too, because that's like the point of a coffee table book. Have it be fun. But I thought this was so cool. The book that I'm reading right now, it's called The Night Shift. There's a quote in it and it's by William Blake. And that was the first time I'd ever heard of William Blake. And I was like looking up some of his poems and stuff and stuff about him yesterday because I wanted to see where the quote was from. And then when I went to Toshin today, they had this William Blake book. So these are the water sketches and the finished watercolors that are like in this book. I just like the aesthetic of it. So I got this one. I also picked out this Monet book. There's all of the artwork in here, which I thought was really cute. And I also love the cover of this one. Then I picked these two. They're all American ads with a bunch of ads from whatever time period. So this is the 40s one. And I love the cover of this one. It's just got like this cute little car on here. And it's got a bunch of ads from the 40s. It looks so sick. And then I also picked the 60s one. The 60s one is my favorite. This one just looks so cool. But they have all of them like 70s, 80s, 90s. They have like a bunch of these. And thought they were so sick and then I found this book this is like the one that's strictly Greek mythology so it's Greek myths and there's just a bunch of like art in here and depictions of Greek mythology which I thought would be like so cool to look at like I want to look at this I just think it's so interesting I just can't get over it like look at this one you guys this is Pandora and Pandora's box right here this is so crazy. This one is sickening. This is a Marilyn Monroe book and I love it so much. I have an Audrey Hepburn book and I just thought this one would be so insane because there's so many, oh, oh my God. There's so many photos in here of her that are so cool. Like look at her, she's so cute. Last book I have, I picked out for Brandon. Oh. Look how cool it is. That's right. It's a huge, oh my God, it's so heavy huge adidas book and it has like every variation of sneaker ever you guys don't remember brandon works at adidas <laughs> i thought the bind of this one was really cool and it's like um a, a, like velvety like suede fabric or whatever but it's massive and it has like every version of adidas shoe in here it's the next morning i'm obviously watching jake shane's podcast but i'm making breakfast so i have these little Hash browns from Trader Joe's. I make three of them. I just pan fry them so they're cooked fully through because they're frozen. And then I'm gonna do three eggs. Eggs and hash browns. And then I, I drench it in sriracha. I'm almost out of this clearly. like the face like the makeup but he was like do you like do you overline your lips and I was like yeah I do and then he like really <laughs> overlined my lips so I feel like it's you know anyway whatever um I smuggled a grilled chicken sandwich from there so oh this looks good so it's currently 
12.45, I woke up at 6.30 this morning because I didn't have to leave until like 8.50, but I cleaned up like my house and stuff and I did a little bit of work before I left. I did work this morning, now it's 12.45, I'm eating my lunch and then I'm gonna go get my nails done. So these are my nails, this is my go-to color, this has been my summer color that I'm obsessed with. I've got it like three times in a row now. The shade is OPI Cajun Shrimp, I hate the name. Why is it called Cajun Shrimp? Please stop. But it's Cajun Shrimp and you get one coat of it and then you do Magic White Chrome. You just do one coat because then they look like jelly nails. You can't really tell, but it's very sheer. If I were to do like three coats of this, they wouldn't look as pink, they would look very red. So anyway, um, but I need to switch these. So my birthday is actually tomorrow. I'm gonna end this vlog here and then I'll have a different video going up for my birthday, but my birthday is tomorrow. So I want to get my nails done because my outfits are really casual. Like I actually don't even have anything crazy. I think I'm just gonna wear something that I have in my closet for my birthday, but I want more neutral nails because summer is transitioning away and I think I'm gonna go back to my simple nude look. I actually had such a good time today. I mean, I was very nervous because I'm not really like, I don't do beauty campaigns and stuff like that just because I don't know, like taking photos for Instagram and taking photos for like stories and stuff like that, I'm in control of how I look. Like I'm seeing it on the camera or if someone else is taking my photos, I can be like, wait, look, let me adjust. Like, I don't know, I, it's more comfortable to like change things. When you're on like a big set like that, go with what they're doing and like hope that it looks right. But I'm not used to like serving face. like. Some of these girls are so good, like they're giving Bella Hadid, you know what I mean? Like they're just like eating and I am like not that, like I just like can't do it. So that's why I was so nervous, but everyone was so, so nice to me and so kind and I had such a good time. And I think we're gonna get the photos back at the end of the week or something. So hopefully when I get those back, I'll be really happy with them. I was really glad that I got to make selects. So I got to choose which photo I wanted to keep. So I think that they'll send me that on Friday. I didn't get to see the video that I did, but I did get to choose the photos, which was really nice. I feel so insane for this makeup. Like I'm going out with this full glam on, but I fixed my lips and I just feel like I look a lot more like myself I just did like a more subtle lip and I didn't overline them but look at my nails oh my gosh I forgot to ask her the nail color wait I have to ask her I have to go back inside that's so awkward okay I just went back inside to get my nail color and the nail color is OPI we the female and it's so so pretty I really wanted like to transition my nails into fall look how much red I have in this car they look so good they're like a very deep cherry type of red which I really like so anyway I had the most emotional nail appointment I was not expecting it I've been going to the same nail lady for like a couple months now and I typically would just like go and have whoever but I like love her so much and I just like I don't know like I just felt a vibe with her and I was like I need to stick with her so I've kept going to her and anyway I saw her today and she was just like kind of down a little bit and so I'm like asking her you know like what are you doing for this weekend asking her her plans and we're just chatting and we just got into this talk and she was just like telling me like she was crying a little bit she definitely had like puffy kind of eyes while she was like doing my nails so I'm like asking her what's going on and she's like you know, like I'm, I'm just like fighting a lot with my family and she's just having like a lot of like family stuff that's going on. And she was telling me about how she lost her parents and stuff. And she would just like started crying because she was trying to go to Philly and like fly to see her parents graves. And it's like been some family drama. I don't know, not to air out her stuff because you guys don't know her anyway. But like, I don't know, it just made me really sad. And then it just kind of got me thinking like when I was there, just because she was so sad and she was like crying about it. And she was just like at work and she was going through it and she was like texting and like having to like step away. And I just like felt so bad for her. And then it just had me thinking because, you know, I always go in there and I'm always like, how are you doing? What'd you do this past weekend? She just went on a trip to Hawaii with her family and stuff. And I was just like, she's just so sweet. And you really never know what people are going through. And it just, that's just basically what I was thinking about while I was going there. I was just like, you just never know. Like she has just recently lost both of her parents. And like, I just can't imagine. And I think it's just so important to just like be kind and like treat people with kindness and be empathetic and be patient and like talk to people and like make connections. I don't know. I just like felt for her so much and you just really never know 
what someone is going through and what they're struggling with. I don't know. That's my thought for today. I just feel like it was important for me to like talk to her and like ask her what was going on and like we really got into it like we were getting down to the nitty gritty and like talking about what was going on with her family and stuff and it was just it was a nice reminder today that you just never know what someone is going through and you never know what they could be struggling with and you being kind to them or like talking to them or being like a safe space for them could mean a lot to them you have no idea so I don't know I wanted to share that because I had a good nail appointment and I wasn't even planning on getting my nails done today. I like randomly got back from my shoot and was like, you know what, I have to go get my nails done. I'll just like do it today since my birthday's tomorrow, whatever, I'll just like get them finished. And I do kind of feel like I was meant to talk to her. Like we had such a great talk and like I just know after that conversation, like she's just gonna be on my heart just to like pray for her. And I just wanted to share that. But anyway, I'm gonna go home. Brandon's waiting on me to go home so that we can go to the Dodgers game tonight. So I'm gonna go home and change and we're gonna go to the Dodgers game. We're dressed and we're going to the Dodgers game. Baseball. We love baseball. Brandon is like <laughs> determined to get this bobblehead. No, I'm not. Yes, he is. Now he's embarrassed that I'm telling everyone that he's determined to get this bobblehead. But at the Dodgers games, well, how does it work? Like, it's the first however many people to go into the stadium and get it? You have to buy it? Uh, or it's free? It's usually free. So it's a free bobblehead when you go into the stadium. Yeah, they right? give the it first, to you. Like, it's like the first 20,000 fans, but you, everybody only gets one. Oh, I, could well, wrong, I could be wrong stadium on these numbers, fit. but that's it's like, I assume there's 50,000 probably seats. So I assume it's like the first 20,000 or so that show up. Maybe even 10,000. But I show up on time for the games and I usually still get one because they still have them because you only can get one. Well, I hope we get a bobblehead. I don't know who this guy is, but... You guys, look at the line outside of Dodger Stadium. Like, we're not getting a bobblehead. <laughs> no, relax. Look at this. Is this not the most insane thing you've ever seen? No, I've never seen this. We're two hours early. Two and a half hours early. We got the bobbleheads. Look at Brandon. <laughs> we both got bobbleheads. He's, he's early. We're both early. We're sitting in our seats. Look at these nachos. Come on.